As the March to Madness rolls on, so do the Wildcats as they roll on into the Elite Eight, dispatching of a very feisty San Diego State team. I'm here joined by assistant coach Book Richardson. Book, that's got to be one of the gutsiest performances you've had to see in an Arizona team. Considering everything that happened from Caleb having three fouls in the first half, Nick Johnson, I believe, being 0 of 10, um, Rondé Hollis Jefferson fouling out, and no one else being there, but we couldn't keep them off, off the offensive glass. That's arguably the best one of the year. From a defensive standpoint, you really locked down in the second half. That's been the hallmark of Arizona. What, what did it take to shut down the Aztecs tonight? Pride set in. And, uh, you know, San Diego, unfortunately, um, who lost tonight, th this was like a Final Four atmosphere. Um, you know, it, it kind of felt like a true road game for us, you know, being in white uniforms because San Diego State, they, 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 they didn't want to lose. And tonight, it was one of those deals where the team that made the last play or the last run probably were going to win it. Have to be impressed with uh, what Aaron Gordon's doing out there. I think he's 22 of 30 in the NCAA tournament from the field. Uh, and he's doing so many other things, too. I don't know if I liked the highlight lob dunk or that tip in. Uh, his play has just been spectacular. Talk about what Aaron brings. He, he's just playing basketball. And he's doing everything that we need him to do to win basketball games. He's making basketball plays. And, you know, fortunately for him, he's so athletic that he'll make those highlight reels. But then you watch him rebound. You watch him take great shots. You watch him be a great teammate. So for us, he's doing everything that he has to do for us to win. Watching the coaching staff there with about 10 seconds to go, you haven't seen that emotion yet uh, all season long from you guys. Uh, you guys are pouring your heart and soul into this team. Was that a nice, a seminal moment for you guys? It, it was because of what, what goes into it. You know, everyone sees uh, us, us coaching the game you know, for two, three hours, but they, they don't see the preparation that goes into it. And I, I always say I play a coach on television, you know, but the real work is done in practice, you know, in RJ or in Mikhail. So, you know, especially for Sean um, and, and, and the staff, excuse me, it, it was it was huge for us because, you know, trying to get to a Final Four is really, really difficult and following in the footsteps of Coach Olsen is, is you know, it's humbling. Speaking of preparation, I'm sure you're not going to get a lot of sleep tonight. Uh, have you even thought about Wisconsin yet? We have. Um, you know, like I said, we've, we've had a dedicated um, staff, like with, with our assistants, um, you know, Coach Stoudemire and, uh, and, and his, you know, our GA, uh, J.D. Luster, they have the Wisconsin scout. You know, Danny Peters and myself, we had Baylor, um, you know, Joe Pasnack and, and, and David Miller. They had San Diego State. So that we've been watching film, you know, and like I said, when I, when I kind of thought the game was out of hand, um, I tried to see if I could start getting some calls from Wisconsin, but you know they're, they're, they're a bus, so you know they're, they're really good. So, you know we're, we're going to stay up all night, see if we can get some rest about 5 a.m. and start it all over. 40 minutes away from Dallas, Arizona rolls on to the Elite Eight.